Hey everyone, this is Kevin from my journey to the sea on YouTube.com. Uh, getting ready to cook something. I hope y'all like it. Let's see, let's see how this turns out. Anyhow, check it out. Really good sauce, uh, basically. You know, I believe every house should have heavy cream in like buckets. I love heavy cream. This here has got heavy cream, uh, crab meat. Uh, three cheeses, uh, dill as a spice, uh, cilantro, uh, salt, pepper. Uh, it, it really, swear to God, it tastes good. And then over here, I'll be uh, actually I've got I've got red wine and fish stock going, which I'll be doing mussels in a good steamed uh, butter red wine and fish stock. It's going to be great. I'm also going to be doing some stuffed twice-baked potatoes, which, remember, like I always say, all this can be done on a boat, and, and I'll, be, I'll be offering this. I, I've really got something going. I don't know exactly what it is yet, but I do have something going on. I'm scared to talk about it because uh, it, it's, it's close to my heart. Uh, I'll just tell you this, that uh, speakeasy. Uh, private charters out of Key West will be happening. Um, you, you know me, if I plan it, if I wish for it, uh, ee, it happens. Anyhow, I hope uh, what I'm doing, I, I give enough um, video here to uh, make everyone question uh, my methods and, and, and maybe question their own reality as to why the hell you're not on my boat. As, as you can see, there is a lot of crab meat. There's some other goodness in there, but I, I don't want to give all my secrets away. This should condense down pretty well. Uh, where I'm able to uh, mix it over some spaghetti with uh, some avocado and some sliced um, tomatoes. Anyhow, get ready. This ought to make you hungry. And I hope if it does, you'll just remember me next time you're in Key West. I love to cook. I, cooking has uh, always been my outlet. And now even more, uh, it is my outlet. Um, I love to make everybody happy, and I want everyone to be happy. I. I would love to get y'all drunk, but I can't keep up no more. So with food, that's kind of what I freaking do, I guess. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, a lot of people in the back that I'm not showing you um, are like got plates in their hands and they're like, okay, stop the video. Can we eat, please? I told them we're going to have to just videotape this and, and show everybody a little something. Anyway, remember, bring back the peace sign. And hang loose while you're doing it. Yesterday I did prepare some crab um, crab meat stuffing, uh, three kinds of cheese, a little bit of heavy cream. And I'm telling you, if you don't use heavy cream in your kitchen, you're probably missing out. Heavy cream can be used for anything. I'm I'm learning as I go, or I'm going as I learn. I don't know what it is. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff these potatoes with uh, a little bit of the the uh, stuffing which is nothing more than crab meat and cheese and of course heavy cream I'm gonna stuff these and twice bake the potatoes uh, we'll see how it works out hopefully everything uh, comes out like it should I'm hoping if I didn't say so before ow yeah those are hot wow those are hot I'm doing it in close quarters because I want you all to see what I'm doing. Oh, those are so hot. Take that away for a minute. Let me get this in the middle so you can really see what's going on. Anyhow, I'm, I'm basically, I'm just, I'm just cutting them open. You know, I'm not going to explain it. I mean, God, you're not. Uh, I don't know the right word to use.
Ow. I mean, I just took them out of the oven. It's crazy. These are hot. My God, they're so hot. Maybe I can get a better picture over here. Now, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just, I know you can't see it real well, but you'll check it out in a little minute, and it'll be really cool. I'm just making boats. I'm just making boats out of aluminum foil to hold the potatoes and everything that's in them. You'll love this. As you can see, it's just a, a massively baked potato wrapped in aluminum foil. And then what I'm doing now, after I've cooled them down a little bit, I'm putting the, uh, the, the mixture on top. That one's definitely mine. Early on today, I made a secret sauce. <laughs> and what I do is I just liberally spread it over the top, which is really good. It's going to be very good. Basically, uh, a grease off of bacon, uh, a little bit of flour, and something else. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it's really, really, really good. I know it's a rough video, but, you know, you want to see the whole thing in action, I guess start uh, applications for the charters. As you can see, I got a couple of them baked potatoes getting ready to go in the oven again. Yo! Shoot, that's hot. Ow! Anyway, they're in there and they're set on 375. Pre cooked. Hey, you know what can I say? Anyhow, it's probably 275 right now. And then after about three to four minutes, what I'll do is I'll turn it on. Uh, broil and I'll broil it for three minutes just to get the top browned All right now we're ready for our mussels, which basically this is just butter uh, Some red wine and a little bit of fish stock No, they're not fresh, but they are frozen uh, from one of the grocery stores around here and basically what you want to do Toss them in there. You're gonna bring that boil down because the, the how cold they are, and I've got it set. I've got it set pretty high. But once I see it start steaming again, well, it's already steaming, so I need to turn it down just a little bit. This ought to be really good. Of course, now we can't forget our sauce, which is starting to condense real well. Man, this is looking good. You know me and my cooking. I'm loving life. Those are looking real well. Goodness gracious. Oh, sorry. Boy, Dell sure does put up with a lot of shit. My poor brother does put up with a lot of shit. But this is why I cook. <laughs> so you'll put up with my shit. And always remember, you cannot ever forget your avocados or your tomatoes. It, real simple. You don't have to do a lot for this, except you got to have a knife. Where the hell the knife is? Like I said, you got to have a knife. Hello there, knife. Anyhow, let's get you an edge started. Basically, these are all for presentation, is all it really comes down to. But it always makes people go, ooh, ah, oh, oh, e, ah. And that's what you want to hear when you're cooking. I mean, that's what I want to hear when I'm cooking. 
anyhow, this is uh, just a small meal. It didn't cost nothing, 30 bucks, and I'm still using um, supplies that I bought from the last uh, adventure to the market. Which I think ran thirty-five dollars. So I've had I've had about sixteen meals that fed four, three to four people. Um, it's okay to cook, man. It's okay to to uh, enjoy cooking. It it, it scares everybody because you think you got to be so uh, you got to be all this and that and whatever. But but you don't. Sometimes the best meals are the ones stoned together. We all know that. Grandma did that, right? I learned from an old lady in Key West how to do some of this stuff, and it's always stuck. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching everything cook, and I should be putting that back on the fire so it can do its thing. That is going to be so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is packed full of not only cheese but but. Uh, awesome crab meat oh my gosh it's gonna go on the pasta which I've got the pasta I, I pre-cooked the pasta we actually used it for another meal but anyway it's pre-cooked uh, in the microwave I just heated it back up and hey let's check on the uh, potatoes oh jeez, man I want to get a good picture now it's time to put them on broil I can see that they're they're ready and that's 500 for about three minutes and you're gonna get a great taste look at that thing go my gosh really all you're wanting to do is let this thicken up so you can put it on top of your uh, pasta and uh, it, 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 this is nothing man this is nothing I do like to have throw these back on there for a minute they're looking really good if you can see them before the steam gets on them man Life is good. Oh wow, check this out. The bomb. Ow, my fingers are burning off. Anyhow, that's the uh, stuffed potato, uh, stuffed crab potatoes, uh, mussels, uh, stuff. <laughs> I'm just making it up as a go just because I can. What do you call that? Uh, I'd call it a sauce. I'd yeah, but there's a different fucking word for it. It's just spaghetti. It's a... Uh, like, uh... The fuck's that word? Oh, uh, God. Uh, like the yeah. white shit. Yeah. Par uh, no. Alfredo. Alfredo. Thank you. Oh, we've been videotaping. Okay, who cares? Anyhow, that's my fra uh, my 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 crab Alfredo sauce uh, with spaghetti and mussels. Dang, I could not remember that word. You're just okay. Don't you just hate it when you can't remember a dang word? Okay, let me show you how to plate this. This is the way we plate it. It's really awesome, and we're gonna love it. So what we do is we take a little bit of. This right here, we throw it down on there. I know it's kind of an awkward spoon or whatever the hell you want to call this. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this right. Not a lot. Not a lot? No, not me. No, no, not me. I don't do that. Not a lot. What we're wanting is a good bed. And we're wanting really good sauce. The sauce is the most important. Ha! 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 Alright, here it is. That's my kinfolk in there. And plating is the number one thing that makes everybody happy. So, we're not through. We're not through. So, what we're doing now. Oh, please don't give me this. <laughs> Why am I. Oh my god. Uh -huh. What the fuck is he done? Oh my god. Uh, this is a YouTube hey. video of my, my kinfolk over as a. Who pays for that shit?
And now what I'm doing is I'm plating this food. Where's my twice tater? Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. We gotta get the old tater out. What am I missing? This tater what am I missing? is awesome. I wish she'd stay out of my stuff. Anyhow, there we go. This is a plate of Kevin's seafood extravaganza. Anyhow, I just love that man to death. Anyhow, this is Kevin. This is Kevin. I gotta go now. I got hungry people walking in. Everybody have a great day. Remember, bring back the peace sign and hang loose as you're doing it.